Uh, if you look at the five years channel, the, when you buy houses, uh, you take uh, mortgage amortization 30 years, 25 years, or you pay a monthly mortgage. Uh, so you pay interest, you pay uh, many others, hidden fees, uh, plus minus uh, with the half million dollar house. If you pay at least 25% or 30% downs, or if you pay on cash, so it's two different strategy. Whatever it is, you pay half a million dollars house. And if you, let's take a small tick five years back. So uh, if you take in uh, 2003, uh, the gold was $300. And 2001 gold was $286. So uh, since from there up to now, if you invest $500,000 into that time, obviously real estate market has come up a little bit, now has uh, come down. So the gold did not go down at all so from 2001 to $286 gold. So let's say half million dollars gold. So if you invest here, today's gold, $1,075, uh, which is uh, two, three days back. Today, come down again, 1030 35 So it's still gold is uh, compared to the real estate investment. Uh, you can make three or four times more than the um, real estate. Yes, uh, I would think uh, this kind of uh, market at this moment in the world, uh, uncertainty, <laughs> I would say, in economics, in everywhere in the world, not in our only North America, everywhere in the world, uh, everybody must have the, some precious metal into their portfolio. And how many, what percentage of the population does have precious metal in their portfolio? As per my case, I'm really not to study about these matters, uh, but as my case, I'm thinking at this moment, uh, as per the demand of the market, uh, I would say 90 percent people has. But well, that's in stock, not, right? Even in physical. Even in physical. Not Even in phys physical, over 80 percent people are diversifying into their uh, investment into the uh, precious metal, especially gold, silver.